Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing how to enroll iPads or iPhones into Intune for management. So there are two ways to do this, either through the automation, which is Apple Business Manager. This is very similar to uh, Intune Autopilot for Windows. You do your configurations, you uh, bring uh, an iPad, you power it on, it registers, it, it uh, detects that it's an Intune managed, and then you it goes with the, through the uh, configurations you were configured for it. Or you can do it manually, which is through the company portal, and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So let's get to it. Now this is my uh, dashboard. Now, as, I, as you can see, I do not have any iPads or I or uh, uh, iPhones connected. Now, before we get started, there are a couple of things you have to uh, make sure you have. The first thing is your Intune tenant is actually configured with the basic configurations. And I'm not going to go through this in this video. I'll leave a link in the description below for the basic configurations to enable registration. If you uh, need to do it, you can watch that video. Also, you uh, need to, to make sure that you, your default policy does not block iPhones. And the way you uh, do this is you go to uh, actually you uh, you go to uh, enroll devices, and then you go to uh, enrollment device platform restrictions, and basically uh, you know edit the default policy. If you have a default policy, go to properties and edit, and make sure your iPad iOS is set to allow here. Otherwise, you would not be able to register. All right, so uh, back to uh, also the configurations. What we need to do is uh, from devices, we go to, I to uh, iPad iOS and then enrollment. And we're uh, right away uh, being asked to uh, create a certificate. Now, this, uh, this certificate can be uh, created in your uh, Intune portal, whether it's Apple Business Manager for business or school or your personal or a company owned just a regular iTunes account. So I'm gonna click here, and this this has to be done before anything uh, can be done. I'm gonna agree, and then it tells you to download your CSR. This is to create a, a certificate, so I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And then you basically click on this link to log into your uh, uh, into uh, iTunes, and create the certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And we come to this link inside the iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and say create a certificate. I'm going to agree. And just put this as my Intune cert. This is just a note for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the file that I downloaded earlier and upload it here. And I'm just going to say upload. All right, so now I'm being told I have successfully created a certificate. Now you can see, you can go, to, you can, you need to download it, but I'm just going to show it to you. All right, so here's the certificate. Now what? So I'm going to go ahead and download the certificate now to go and upload it to the portal. Now here I'm going to go ahead and put my Apple ID. And I'm going to basically uh, upload the certificate that we uh, just uh, did. And I'm going to hit upload. Okay, so we're done with that. As you can see now here, it's showing that uh, it's active and everything. So we will close that. And now different things have opened up for us. Now at this time, you can uh, create your compliance policies and configuration profiles, which I'm not going to cover in this video. I'm just uh, going through the process of uh, enrolling the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, connect to my iPad and go ahead and roll it for you to see how it's done. Okay, so here's my app, iPad and I have the company portal installed on it. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's going to ask me to register. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this account and hit continue. It's asking me for the password. I'm going to go ahead and type the password. 
So I'm uh, presented with this notification. I'm gonna hit OK. I do not want to get notifications. All right. So this is my company name, ImagerLabs.com, and that's the review. I'm gonna go ahead and say begin, and it's telling me what uh, can and can do. You can review these things and say continue. Continue. Now it's downloading the management profile on my device. All right, so profile downloaded. And I'm gonna say continue. As you can see, it's like four steps and it's just going through the process. Now here it's asking me to go to settings. Just follow the instructions, select the profile in general and, and, and then select VPN device management and select install. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so here I am on my iPad under general and then here's VPN and device management, management profile. And I'm just gonna hit install here. It's asking me for my uh, code. And it's basically going through the installation. And it's done. Now going back to the screen, it's already detected that pro profile is, the, is uh, installed. I'm gonna hit continue. Checking the uh, settings that it meets the compliance policy. All right, since basically it's saying that I'm all set, so I'm gonna hit done here. And I'm gonna go to the portal now to see if the device appears. All right, so going back to here, as you can see, I already have now an iOS device uh, registered. So if I go here to iPads, I can find it here. And if I click on it, basically I can manage it, retire it, wipe it, delete it, remote lock it, do whatever you want. And basically, that's the basics of uh, enrolling this iPad into Intune. Please re remember to uh, give this video a like and subscribe for more content like this. And have a good day.